What are we gonna do with them? We don't have time to take prisoners. So you're just gonna shoot them? I haven't decided yet. That's not just up to you. I'm the ranking officer. And we're not in your army. These prisoners could be useful to us. But if you kill them, we'll never know. I can live with that. Well, I can't. You're an engineer, not a soldier. This is clearly my territory. You think you have enemy combatants here? This is a hostage situation. Each one of them has an innocent life inside. I'll keep watch on them. As will I. We can't let our guard down around the enemy. Petty Officer Diaz and I will figure out how to stop the ship. Let's hurry. The rest of the Takai could show up any minute. Crystals. They're all over this place. Look here. It's navigational data. We saw that already. Headed to the edge of the galaxy. It's only a display. We couldn't use it to change course or alter speed. Where's the captain? Captain Ostego did not survive the atmosphere poisoning. I'm sorry to hear that. He died defending the Empire. That's how he'd want it. Crystals are Takan technology. They seem to be active, just like the rest of their tech. Tetrametric pulses. Tetrametric? It's the energy signature of Takan technology. Everything they make gives off this type of radiation. They're blocking the inputs. It's not responding at all. Everything I try, it just ignores me. I thought you had the access codes needed to take control back. I should, but I can't actually get to the surface, so I can't enter them here. Maybe there's somewhere else I can try. There are two interfaces on top of each other. This... this is not Alidian programming. It's the Takan language. From what I can tell, the ship's systems are actively responding to input. Which is the opposite of how most bridges work. They usually send commands, not receive them. It's from an intrusive program. This control station won't do us any good either. What have they done to this bridge? Consoles running themselves, some clogged up with crystals that are sending off tetrametric pulses. But none of this is sending signals outward. It's receiving. They're flying the ship from somewhere else. That should be impossible. But it explains why there's less than a full bridge crew. If they aren't flying the ship from the bridge, where are they controlling it from? Figure this out before we get wherever we're going. If the Resolute can't catch up to us, we're in a whole different kind of trouble. Any trouble? Don't worry about me. Worry about Stretch over there. Why? He's looking for any excuse to vaporize the prisoners. But I'll make sure he doesn't. Even if they're the enemy, it's not right. I'm here if you need a hand. Just hurry up and figure out this bridge. That's the best way to help. Everything under control? Yes. Beast Khan haven't made a move. 
yet. And what you're doing is working. There's plenty more I can do. But it doesn't have to be that way. As long as they behave. Careful where you point that thing. It's not active. I can't see any way this would work as a weapon. It's dead. Out of ammo? I'm not sure. We're gonna be there in less than an hour. We can't let that happen. Hold on, it would take days to go this distance with our fastest ship. We're traveling at a warp factor many times greater than this ship should even be capable of. What are the engines doing to produce this kind of speed? This console looks unaffected. The engine's a red line. Running at full power. But this main drive manifold is spiking way over nominal levels. Very dangerous. Even at 100% output, the warp cores wouldn't push this much plasma to the drive section. The reactor output matches the high speed, doesn't it? Whether it's these crystals or the power from the cartabula, the Takana found a way to increase the engine output and top speed. We have to find a way to hit the brakes before we outrun anyone who could help us. We stop it, so they can't get this ship where they're going, and enact the next phase of their plan. That is, if they don't destroy us all first. I would have thought this ship would disintegrate going this speed. But somehow, that hasn't happened yet. So what is their endgame? They've transformed individuals, they've transformed this ship, in a way. How far will they go? As far as we let them. Their technology certainly doesn't seem to have limits. I hate to think what the Cartabula could do if it was plugged into something it was meant to power. That's everything. We got some answers. I don't like what they tell us, though. If we can learn nothing else, then what's left is to make these Takan talk. And if they don't, we'll dispose of them. Hey, that's not how we do this. That is enough from you. I thought that thing was useless. It was. No power. Until he touched it. The weapons must be biocoded. Our technology will only work for one of our kind. I can assure you, this weapon works just fine for me. Slow down, Arminta. <laughs> you can't control this ship with a disruptor. But I can use it to control you. Ah! 